Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. Today we're going to be talking about the Yaesu FT-2DR Dual Band HT. So stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything Ham Radio. My name is Curtis, my call sign is Kilo5 Charlie Lima Mike. And like I said, today we're going to be talking about the Yaesu FT-2DR radio. Now, before we get into that, please make sure you click on the subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner, as well as the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Alright, let's go ahead and get on into the overview of this radio. Alright, so today we are talking about the Yaesu FT-2DR dual band C4 FM radio like I've already said. This radio is available on Amazon right now for $395.96 as of the time of this recording. Now, I will put a, a link in the description below. And it, in, to be full, fully disclosed here, uh, it is a affiliate link. So if you click on it, I do get a small commission on... Uh, any purchase that you have for the next 24 hours so if you do I greatly appreciate it It really helps the channel out okay so this radio is a true dual band radio and this means that you can listen to two uh, frequencies at the same time now whether that's a VHF UHF combination a VHF VHF UHF UHF and this radio even goes one step further allowing you to listen to one of them on C4FM and one of them on analog or both of them on C4FM. Um, anything basically that this radio can hear, you can hear two different frequencies at the same time. Now the frequency range in this radio is very extensive, especially on the main band, which is the top. And this picture is where the 146.52 frequency is listed. That is your main band. Now you can receive FM broadcast from 76 megahertz to 108 megahertz. You can listen to air band, which is uh, for uh, air traffic control, uh, things like that, from 108 to 137 megahertz. And then it goes down all the way to 0 0.5 to 1.8 megahertz on AM broadcast. Um, you can listen to shortwave radio, uh, 1.8 to, to 30 megahertz. Um, and this covers basically all of your HF areas. Uh, you can listen to the 6 meter band from 30 megahertz to 76 megahertz. Uh, 2 meter VHF uh, from 137 all the way up to 222. Um, your um, 220 bands from 220 to 420. Uh, your UHF uh, 70 centimeter band 420 to 470. And then it goes all the way up to 7074 as well. The transmit on the main band is from 144 to 148 and from 430 to 450. And also on this band it does 774 to 999.9 .9, and that's for the Gen 2 model. On band B, which is the bottom one, which is where the 446.5 frequency is listed, it does have a little less uh, reception and transmit as well. Um, so on band B, you can receive 108 to 137, the, the air band, 137 to 174, uh, 174 to 222, 222 to 420, and 420 to 470, and 470 to 580, and that's it. It doesn't go any higher than 580 on the sub band. And it does not have the high portion for the transmit either. Um, it only does 144 to 148 and 430 to 450. Now this radio uh, does have 24 memory banks and each bank can have up to 100 memory channels. Now as I was looking through the specs of this radio and through the manual itself, uh, I never really found anywhere where it said exactly how many memory channels this has. So this leads me to believe that according to this statement, which is the only thing I found anywhere in the book about how many um, memory channels this had, this radio potentially has 2,400 memory channels. Now, in each one of these banks, like I said, you can have a, up to 100 memory channels, and you can have uh, one frequency in several uh, memory banks as well. So if you have one radio that is your local radio or that you own a radio or something like that, you can have that frequency in every, in every uh, member bank, and you're, you'll be fine. 
Now you can name the channels. Um, however, the name only shows up when you're in the mono band mode, like you see on the in the picture on the left over here. Um, it does have the name of the frequency, uh, the current date, and the voltage of your battery. Now, this is one of the things that I don't like about this radio. I don't like it that you cannot rename the channel or the memory slot uh, to see a alphanumeric uh, display, um, but it actually has it in a different portion of the screen. So you're always going to see the frequency. And if you have it in dual band mode where you see both bands, uh, you can't see the name at all. So I don't like that about this radio. This radio does have uh, three power outputs, five watts on high power, two watts on medium power, and half a watt on low power. When you look at the batteries of this radio, you have a fairly long um, battery usage. Uh, using the high power battery, which is the FBA-39, using just, from my understanding of this graph, using just the two meter band, if it's in mono band mode, you have approximately 14 hours of use. If you're going to use this radio to listen to FM, your favorite FM radio station, you have up to 16 hours. Now, I do notice that um, when you use a dual band radio, if you have just the mono band selected or you just listen to one band, um, you do tend to have a more uh, of a battery life. So that was what leads me to believe the way that this graph is, is broken up is, is that it's just a single receive uh, setting. Um, and this will drop if you use the dual band uh, modes and as well as if the digital is turned on or off. So in digital mode, if you have just the two meter band, you're only gonna have 12 hours of battery life instead of 14. Now all these calculations that you see on this graph is in uh, line with using a six second transmission, a six second receive, and 48 hours of standby. So when you're talking to somebody, you say something, they say something back, and then almost a minute of dead air, that's what you're going to have uh, for your battery life, basically. The other feature that I don't like about this radio is there's no um, solid uh, DTM, DTMF pad that you see on a lot of radios. In this radio, it is all soft keys built onto the screen, as you can see in the picture on the left of it here. Um, it does have a fairly large screen, though. It's 1.7 inches, and it is a touch screen. And that's how you put anything in. If you're doing any DTMF you're doing, any programming you're doing, and when you're selecting a radio frequency, anything like that is going to pop up one of these two screens, um, and you type it in on the screen. Um, some of the videos that I watched on this radio, uh, some people had a hard time punching in the, punching the buttons and getting them to work correctly and not hitting the wrong buttons. Um, and if you have fat fingers like me, probably going to have that same type of issue. Um, but I've heard a lot of good stuff about this radio too. So if the two things that I don't like about this radio um, are not a deal breaker for you, then by all means, please get this radio because it is a very nice radio. Uh, as well as with any C4 FM radio, it does have the auto mode select. And what this feature is, is if you are listening to your radio and somebody keys up, um, whatever mode they are using, your radio will automatically change to that when you transmit. So let's say you're sitting there listening to your radio, doing something on your computer or something like that, and when your friends call out, call you on the radio, they're using the C4 FM mode. Um, your radio will automatically select the C4 FM mode when you call them back. Now if, say, a third friend shows up halfway through your QSO and they're only using an analog radio, both your and your friend's radio will automatically select the analog mode so you can, can, can continue conversation. This radio does have um, four different modes that it can operate in, the traditional analog mode and three digital modes. The first of the digital modes is the V slash D mode or the simultaneous voice data communication mode. It uses half of the bandwidth for your voice signal and the other half for error correction um, or sending other uh, data information like your location um, and stuff like that. The second mode is the voice FR mode or the full rate mode. This uses the full 12.5 kilohertz bandwidth to transmit digital voice. Um, this will make your voice sound a little richer, maybe a little cleaner. Um, and maybe even get a little bit farther range. 
The third mode is the data FR mode. This is for high speed data communications. This is especially nice if you're taking pictures and you're transmitting them to uh, other people in your group, which we'll talk about here in just a second. Or let's say you're you're doing a Skyward net. You can take a picture of the clouds that you see and transmit it over the air, um, and it will be received by the whole group or an individual and uh, they can see it and using the data fr mode it will transmit a whole lot faster and last but not least the analog fm mode this mode is especially nice for when you're talking to somebody and they start breaking up and you just can't they just don't seem to be able to make the trip back to you you can switch over to analog mode and maybe talk to them for a little bit longer if they're traveling or something like that this radio does have a built-in TNC, and it's the standard AX.25 uh, protocol, uh, which makes it nice for use in APRS. And as you can see on the picture on the left here, this is a packet that was received from this radio. It gives the call sign, the location, the distance, the speed they're going, the altitude, and their GPS location as well. And this radio does have a built-in GPS. It's a 66-channel high-sensitivity GPS located on the top of the radio, uh, which provides your radio with location, time, direction, and other APRS information. And last but not least, the digital GM function or group mode function. This thing is really nice. If you have, say, a group of friends, friends that you always talk to, say, on your way to work or something like that, um, you can program all these people into this group, and whenever they come within range of your radio, it will pop up a message saying, hey, this person is in range, so you can call them directly and talk to them over voice. All right, so this radio does have some pros, some cons, more pros than cons of this radio. It comes in at a decent, fair, uh, pretty good price. Um, it does have the C4 FM. It does have uh, you know good audio quality and several good things to it. I don't like the um, that it can't use the names, that just the the uh, frequencies on the display, and I don't like that there's no hard keys. Uh, that you can press is all the soft keys but other than that I like this radio so if this is something that you might be interested in you're looking for a good C4 FM radio check this one out check out the link in the description below again it is an affiliate link uh, to Amazon so please go through there it helps the channel immensely so uh, next week we're going to be talking about the Yaesu FT-2980R so make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss that video. And while you're waiting on that video, make sure you check out these two videos over here. And I'll thank you very much for watching. And until next time, y'all, my name is Curtis, 73, y'all.